Get it going. All right, we are here with Jaleel Bethea on our first episode, um, kind of interviewing underrated prospects um, in the country. Uh, Jaleel is a six foot four, 2024 guard from Archbishop Wood and team final in Philly. Jaleel, Jaleel how's it going? How's it going tonight? Jeez. It's going good so far. Fantastic. So um, let's talk about your game, you know, talk about how you fell in love with the game of basketball. Um, and we'll kind of get into your uh, role with your team at Archbishop Wood. Uh, I would say when I was younger, I always had like a like a ball in my hands. So like once I got older, I just stuck with it. And I feel like my role with Wood is way bigger from last year. Mm -hmm. I'd be more of a leader since I'm like a little bit more experienced than like half of the people that's coming up with varsity this year. Mm -hmm. Got you. And then you had a couple guys graduated too. I think you guys lost three starters, including a guy that's likely to play at Drexel this upcoming year, correct? Yeah. Gotcha. Cool. So, you know, talk about, you know, some of the mashups you're looking forward to this year. I know you mentioned you're looking for some get back uh, from, from a couple schools this season. Yeah, De definitely Ryan. Ryan and Roma. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Gotcha. Your your AU teammate uh, Sorber is is on Archbishop Brian. I'm sure that there's plenty of talking going on off the court too. Correct. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Got you. So, uh, what are some individual or team accomplishments that you've kind of written down for this season? I would say probably like PCL chip. Mm -hmm. Literally, I say like PCL MVP and like states. Okay. Got you. Um, talk about, you know, we you kind of alluded to it earlier, but talk about the increased role that you're looking at this year as far as, you know, how Coach Moscow is going to use you this year, probably more on the ball. Um, you know, talk about how you guys are maybe looking differently, you know, offensively or defensively this season. Uh, this year, I'm going to be more on the ball a little bit, like some on, some off. And we like young, so that means we all can like go fast and stuff. Okay. Yes. Got you. Fantastic. Any uh, young players in your team that we should look forward to seeing this season? I uh, say Milan, Milan D. Mm -hmm. Deuce Maxi. That's like the main two. Okay. Okay. Got you. Perfect. So, um, you know, you, you your recruiting just saw like a huge increase, um, deservedly so, in my opinion, after um, Peach Jam specifically, but also just after the first couple sessions of Nike YBL. Um, you know, talk about, um, you know, what offers you've had come in and then kind of uh, who's been getting involved more recently um, since the end of AAU. You know, that's kind of the time that a lot of college coaches look at their board and start to offer, you know, the junior class. So kind of talk about who's been getting involved recently and what visits you've taken. Uh, I, I took I recently just came back from uh, Villanova, the Hoops Mania event. OK. Yeah, and uh, I had I had uh, I took a visit at Penn State, Rutgers. Uh, what was that? I'm trying to think of the other ones. I took one. I actually took one to UCLA. Okay, awesome. Yeah, one of the schools that been hit me up, I would say uh, Kansas. Kansas is the most recently one. Okay, gotcha. Awesome. Are they planning on coming out anytime soon? Hopefully. Yeah, they're supposed to be coming uh Wednesday tomorrow. Cool. Perfect. Okay. Um, talk about what you're looking for, you know, in a school, you know, you have a, another year and a half, two years to make that decision. Talk about what you're looking for in a college program, what you're looking for in a university and what you're looking for, you know, in a coach and a team at the next level. Um, let's see if I'm looking at a college OC, like, like if, if, if I could play with a team like that, like see if my play style can fit with that, Certain team. Okay. I mean, just yeah. describe your playing style for people that haven't seen you play. Uh, I would say, like, I can shoot. Most definitely I can shoot. Mm -hmm. I can pass. Just start, like, dribbling right now. Mm -hmm. Just start showing people that I can dribble. But, like, mm -hmm. I would like a team that they have me, like, that I can, like, not do what I want, but, like, get comfortable a little bit have the freedom to kind of play with the offense. Um, you know, I'm, I'm assuming that you're, you're looking for more of a fast breaking team as well. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't really like playing slow. Cause I. Okay. Like, yes. 
Yeah, it's definitely definitely the Philly way too. Um, you know, talk about um what let's go to academics, I guess. So what are your what are your grades looking like right now? Um, do you kind of have any majors that you're thinking about, you know, potentially pursuing at the next level? And you know, what are your plans outside of basketball? Mm, my grades right now are good. I got like A's and B's. Awesome. Yeah, I was I was thinking about doing engineering, but like like outside for college and all that. But as I was looking too deep into that, that's kind of like a little bit too much for like trying to do basketball in that. Mm-hmm. I just yeah. got to think about like something else to do. I don't really know what that thing is yet, but. Okay. What do you like doing outside of basketball? You know, if if um, you're not able, if for some reason you weren't able to play basketball at the next level, what would, what would you be interested in doing? Mm, probably. I mean, I played a game a lot. I probably had, like some like video games or something. Okay, gotcha. Okay, um, talk about you know we we kind of talked about your game a little bit. Um, I I'm gonna quote you know a friend, a PD Webb, that's a, a scout. You know, scouts high school and college basketball pretty pretty closely. Uh, big fan of your game, by the way. Uh, he was put on by by CG, our guy Graham, uh, that works out of the Philly area for prep hoops, but. Um, he just said you're wired differently as far as just, you know, how intense you play the game, um, you know, how passionate you are about the game. Um, you know, talk about, you know, your physical, mental toughness and makeup and, and what and what you've learned um, playing under John Moscow. Uh, I would say I'm definitely a competitive person. Like, I really don't like losing. It don't matter if we in practice a little scrimmage. I don't like to lose. Mm-hmm. Playing under my playing under my school like really helped me. Like when I was a freshman, I really wasn't that good until I got under my school wing. And he like he built me up to the player that I am today. Awesome. Okay. Talk about some differences between, you know, at least this past AU season and this past high school season, some differences between um your role and your game, you know, with team final on the circuit versus, you know, with Wood. On the circuit, team final, I'm off the ball. But I can be on the ball sometimes, but mostly I'm off the ball. Mm-hmm. Coming into this season, I can I can probably bring the ball up a couple of times. But like this year, people are gonna be like on that because like I'm like like a I'm playing like a bigger role. Mm-hmm. So I might have to do a little bit off ball this year, but I can definitely be on the ball this year as well. Gotcha. Okay. So we we talked about a little bit off air, you know, before we got going here about how you know, there's only one service. I think it's two four seven that has you ranked, and I think you're 80 in that. And all the other services on three ESPN, um, as well as you know, some others don't even have you ranked at all. Um, you know, rankings aren't everything, but talk about what that means to you, and you know, trying to trying to put the, you know, Philly on notice, you know, as well as you know the rest of the world, especially talent evaluators and college coaches that that you can really do this. Well, I, I honestly don't really care about rankings. Mm-hmm. Because a ranking not going to really dictate the way that I play. Okay. But when I look at that, I just I just like flag it off for real. Okay. Gotcha. I'm I'm sure that, you know, when you're going against different um highly ranked guys though, there might be a little bit uh extra edge, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got you. Um, so talk about your game, some of your strengths and some of your weaknesses, maybe some of the stuff that you're working on uh, to, to really improve, to make that into a strength, you know, maybe a difference from, you know, maybe last year you couldn't handle the ball to this year. You know, that's something you've really been paying attention to this summer. My strength, I say shooting, passing. I feel like passing is like one of my underrated skills that some people didn't really ain't know I have. Mm-hmm. I can play defense. I just got to learn how to move my feet a little bit more and use my length. Okay. Maybe. Got it. Okay. Any other kind of weaknesses that you've been working on, you know, leading up to this season? I would, I would, I would say the weakness is probably my defense. Okay. Got you. Yeah. I mean, I think that there are some moments that, that on film that I saw you kind of take a, not take a possession off, but just kind of fall asleep on, you know, a backdoor cut and stuff like that. But I mean, I think that that's stuff that comes with time, especially, you know, given that the film I was watching was you, you know, as a sophomore. So you know, that always comes into play there. So we're going to get to the film portion of this real quick. Let me share my screen. Let's not figure out how to do that. There we go. All right. You see my screen? 
Yeah, I can see. All right, perfect. All right, so this is just uh, some stuff I put together. You know, we're talking about the shot making ability kind of off the bounce there. Um, just corner shooting, you, you get a lot of shots from the corner in your offense. You can have a bit of a pull-up game. Um, this is a defensive possession. Um, you really got back well defensively. I guess that was in the wrong spot. My bad. And another, another shot from the corner here. And then another shot from the corner here. This is coming through an elevator screen. I'm assuming that we're probably going to see a good amount of this this season. Third quarter. Unfortunately, I was cut off there. But talk about, you know, your ability to shoot off the ball, um, you know, your your ability to shoot in motion. Is there any kind of uh, particular shot that you're looking for more of this season that maybe you didn't get last season? I would say you using my jump shot as an advantage to, like, do other things. Mm -hmm. like some people look at me, they be like, oh, he can shoot and all that. So I can use my shooting ability to get my teammates involved and, like, mm -hmm. go to the basket more. For sure. Absolutely. And we'll see that, I think, in the next set of clips. Wow. Next Returning set of clips seats defense. After that beautiful oop. Bradshaw trying to get going. So he played pretty well um, in that switch there on the big man. Um, I, the reason I highlighted this clip was kind of the next one on this switch. I think that there would just be needed to be some more communication because right now your guy is coming to set the on-ball screen, so you're – the one that has to dictate where the help is going. So whether that's over the screen, under the screen, and if you're switching or not, you have to tell the guy when to get back. Um, yeah. so that's just the top centers in the country sets the pick. One thing that I highlighted in this. So as soon as as soon as he passes that ball back out there, that has to be your close. Give and go, branch off for three. That's just one thing that I noticed here. Uh, here you use your length to really get in that passing lane, which I think the instincts will just continue to improve. This was kind of talking about the backdoor defense right here. It was, it was late in communicating. Like, you know, th that's what I was talking about as far as you falling asleep off the ball here. You got to cut the back door, and that's fine, but you got to have a head on a swivel and communicate that. Big I'm way before we to go. Big we go ahead. I think we were in zone that, that position. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe I was misreading that. You are correct. Yeah, but that's so as far as like the back screen being set on you, you got to communicate that that lob is coming. Big rebound there. by Laster. So this Jesus is just kind of showing. Yeah. It's kind of just showing some of the range in your jump shot. I really like the way that you you recovered it to that contest. I don't. I had that wrong clip from the jump shot in, in the defense section. Sorry about that, but. On this, yeah. This next one, you had a really good closeout late and you kind of got off the ball a little bit, but recovered well. Um, you know, I really think that's an, an area that you're going to show a lot of improvement on this season as far as just contesting shots, using your quickness to stay in those passing lanes and then kind of create off as a, offensive opportunities at the other end. This is some of the playmaking that we were discussing. Really good backdoor cut. Um, got out in transition. Really got ahead of, of this guy and then finished well in the open court. Um, so here's this clip that I just wanted to show you as, as an improvement thing. So as an, a shooter, sometimes, um, especially when a guy is in this position on the floor where he's, you know, in the in the short corner, if you cut, you'll see you lift from the corner here. Mm -hmm. you, you're, you have your hands up, you know, and like just looking for the ball. If you had cut. If you had cut down the center of this lane right here, there's nothing stopping you from getting an easy dunk. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, or just moving, kind of moving more towards like the opposite kind of wing just to create a better passing lane for, you know, your guard to get that skip pass to you. Yeah. Um, so this was kind of showing some of the ball handling um, in the showcase last weekend, the Philly versus New York one. Um, ref called you out on that. Position. I got to Your mom's had to hook me up with a couple throwback clips here. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how deep that is, man, from a young age. My goodness. So, you know, that's all the film that I have for you. But um, like I said, as far as the off-ball cuts goes, you know, 
I think that that's an easy way to, you know, I, I tell a lot of my players, especially if they're scorers, when they're off the ball, sometimes they don't exactly understand what space they have to get to to create, you know, a scoring option, you know, or to create like a secondary playmaking option. Because, you know, if you cut down the middle, two guys come to meet you, maybe you can kick out to the corner. Um, so just kind of filling the gaps and, you know, making yourself a threat as an off ball guy. Because, you know, now when they're watching film, they can see, you know, Jalil, well, shit, if you're not paying attention, he's going to cut back door on you and get eight points off of layups, <laughs> you know, versus, you know, now like they're really paying attention to that. Now you can move off the ball and, and try to get open for a jump shot. So just little stuff that I think, um, you know, you can integrate into your game a little bit to kind of take you to the next level. But, um, you know, I'd, I really appreciate the time today, man. Um, and I, I'm going to say one thing. I, I don't, like, I think that you should definitely believe in yourself and believe in your game and, you know, the position that, that your mom has put you in um, is a really good position right now. I think it, you're going to see a lot of the results uh, of your labor. But, I mean, I would be shocked if this time next year you're not a top 15, top 20 caliber kid. Mm -hmm. And that's not something that I say easily. But um, I really do think that that's kind of the skill level you're at. And then as well as, you know, that increased role, I think you'll you'll start to see – a lot more national buzz, you know, a lot of the, the schools coming in to recruit you that I think, you know, should be kind of, you should be on the radar. So appreciate the time um, and uh, kind of let the people know where they can find you, you know, on social media. Okay. Thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Where can they find you on social media, Instagram and Twitter? Uh, Instagram is uh, my name, Jalil Bathia, but two, it's like two A's at the end. Okay. My Twitter is uh, Jalil Bathia too. Perfect. Okay. I appreciate it, brother. Best of luck this season, okay? All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.